Nikki Wingvetter, him 10, 11, Agneth, 9 verses. The bull hath yielded for the bull, the milk of heaven, the son of Edite, can never be deceived. According to his wisdom, Varuna knoweth all. May he the holy, hollow times for sacrifice. Gandharvi spake, may she the lady of the flood, amid the rivers roaring, leave my heart untouched. May Aditya accomplish all that we desire, and may our eldest brother tell us this as chief. Yea, even this blessed morning, rich in store of food, splendid with heavenly luster, hath shone out for man, since they, as was the wish of yearning gods, brought forth that yearning Agne for the assembly as the priest, and the fleet falcon brought for sacrifice from afar, this flowing drop most excellent and keen of sight. Then, when the Arya tribes chose his invoking priest, Akne, the wonder worker, and the him rose up, still art thou kind to him, who feeds thee as with grass, and skilled in sacrifice offers thee holy gifts, when thou, having received the sages' strengthening food with lawns, after long toil comest with many more, urge thou thy parents as a lover to delight the lovely one desires and craves it from his heart. The priest calls out, the sacrificer shows his skill, the asura tries his strength, and with the hymn is stirred, far famed is he, the mortal man, O Agne, thou son of strength, who hath obtained thy favor. He, gathering power, borne onward by his horses, makes his days lovely in his might and splendor, when holy Agne, the divine assembly, the sacred synod, Mid the gods is gathered. And when thou, godlike one, dealest forth treasures, vouchsafe us too, our portion of the riches. Hear us, O Agne, in your common dwelling. Harness thy rapid car of Ambretta, bring heaven and earth, the deity's parents. Hither stay with us here. Nar from the gods be distant. And we think to the previous hymn you know, how some questions are ridiculous. But in this end, we think of how some questions are, you know, it's a benefit. In 10.12, Agne, nine verses. Heaven and earth, first by everlasting order, speakers of truth, are near enough to hear us. When the God urging men to worship sitteth as priest, assuming all his vital vicar, as God Compromising gods by law, eternal bear, as the chief who knoweth, our oblation, smoke bannered with the fuel, radiant and joyous, better to praise and worship, priest forever, when the cow's nectar wins the god completely, men here below are heaven's sustainers, all the gods came to this thy heavenly in juice, which, from the motley pear milked oil and water, I praise your work, that ye may make me prosper, here heaven and earth, Twain worlds that drop with fatness, while days and nights go to the world as spirits. Here let the parents with sweet meat refresh us. Hath the king seized us? How have we offended against his holy ordinance? Who knoweth? For even Mitra, mid the gods, is angry. There are both song and strength for those who come not. Tis hard to understand the immortal's nature, where she who is akin becomes a stranger. Guard ceaselessly, greet Agne. Him who potters Yama's name, easy to be comprehended. They in the synod, where the gods rejoice them, were. They are seated in Vivasvat's dwelling. Have given the moon his beams, the sun his splendor. The two unweariedly maintain their brightness. The council which the gods meet to consider, their secret plan of that we have no knowledge. There let God Savatar, Aditya, and Mitra proclaim to Varuna that we are sinless. Hear us, O Agna, in your common dwelling. Harness thy rapid car, the car of Amrita. Bring heaven and earth, the deity's parents, hither. Stay with us here, nor from the gods be distant. And it's important to realize that these things that people tend to worship, they have a source. Are they particularly relate to something of 
this world, um, whereas ultimate divinity wouldn't have a source, wouldn't have uh, that wouldn't be um, bound to any particular form or even quality in how it manifests. Him ten thirteen. Havir Dhanas, five verses. I yoke with prayer your ancient inspiration. May the Lord rise as on the Prince's pathway. All sins of immortality shall hear it. All the possessors of celestial natures, when speeding ye came nigh us like twin sisters, celestial natures. Religious hearted votaries brought you forward. Take your place, ye who know your proper station. Be near, be very near unto our Soma. Five paces have I risen from earth. I follow her who hath four feet with devout observance. This by the sacred syllable have I measured. I purify in the central place of order. He for God's sake chose death to be his portion. He chose not for men's good a life eternal. He sacrificed Brahaspate, the Rishi, Yama delivered up his own dear body. The seven flow to the youth on whom the Marutas wait. The sons unto the father brought the sacrifice. Both these are his, as his they are the lords of both. Both toil, belonging unto both, they prosper well. And the holy symbol, uh, syllable, right? It's, is it Om? But we have Svaha is the one that we're mentioning here. So perhaps Svaha had the prominence in the place that Om would later have. Him 10, 14, Yama, 16 verses. Honor the king with thine oblations, Yama, Visvat son, who gathers men together who traveled to the lofty heights above us, who searches out and shows the path to many. Yama first found for us a place to dwell in. This pasture never can be taken from us. Men born on earth tread their own paths that lead them whither our ancient fathers have departed. Matali prospers there with Kavyas, Yama with Angeras' sons, Brahaspate with Rikvans, Exalter of the Gods, my gods exalted, some joy in praise, and some in our oblation. Come seat thee on this bed of grass, O Yama, in company with Angarasus and fathers. Let texts recited by the sages bring thee, O king. Let this oblation make thee joyful. Come, Yama, with the Angarasus, the holy rejoice thee here, with children of Virupa, to sit on sacred grass at this our worship. I call this spot. Vivasvat. I call this Vivasvat too. Thy father hither. Our fathers are Angarasas, Navagvas, Atharvans, Brekgus, who deserve the Soma. May these the holy look on us with favor. May we enjoy their gracious loving kindness. Go forth, go forth upon the ancient pathways whereon our sires of old have gone before us. Where shalt thou look on both the kings enjoying their sacred food? God Varuna and Yama, meet Yama, meet the fathers, meet the merit of free or ordered acts. In the highest heaven, leave sin and evil, seek anew thy dwelling, and bright with glory, wear another body. Go hence, depart ye, fly in all directions, this place for him the fathers have provided. Yama bestows on him a place to rest in adorned with days and beams of light and waters. Run out speed, the two dogs, Sarama's offspring, brindled four-eyed, upon thy happy pathway, draw nigh then to the gracious-minded fathers, where they rejoice in company with Yama. And those two dogs of thine, Yama, the watchers, four-eyed, who look on men and guard the pathway, entrust this man, O king, to their protection, and with prosperity and health endow him, dark-hued and satiate with distended nostrils. Yama's two envoys 
roam among the people. May they restore us to a fair existence here and today, that we may see the sunlight. To Yama pour the Soma, bring to Yama consecrated gifts. To Yama sacrifice prepared and heralded by Agne Goes. Offer to Yama holy gifts enriched with butter, and draw near, so may he grant that we may live long days of life among the gods. Offer to Yama the king oblation very rich in meat. Bow down before the riches of the ancient times who made this path in days of old. Into the six expanses flies the great one in Trikadrukas, the Gyatri, the Tub, all meters in Yama are contained. And aren't these meters named after him that has the, the, the meter? What's the Gyatri? Ombarubasvaha, Thafsavatur Varniyam, Mago Devasyatimaha, Doyona Prachodayav. I think I got that wrong, but. Him 1015 fathers. 14 verses. May they ascend the lowest, highest, midmost, the fathers who deserve a share of Soma. May they who have attained the life of spirits, gentle and righteous, aid us when we call them. Now let us pay this homage to the fathers, to those who passed of old and those who followed, those who have rested in the earthly region and those who dwell among the mighty races. I have attained the gracious-minded fathers. I have gained son and progeny from Vishnu. They who enjoy pressed juices with oblation seated on sacred grass Come often hither. Fathers who sit on sacred grass, come help us. These offerings have we made for you. Accept them. So come to us with most auspicious favor and give us health and strength without a trouble. May they, the fathers, worthy the Soma, invited to their favorite oblations, laid on the sacred grass, come nigh and listen. May they be gracious unto us and bless us. Bowing your bended knees, and seated southward, accept this sacrifice of ours with favor. Punish us not for any sin, O fathers, which we through human frailty have committed. Lapped in the bosom of the purple mornings, give riches to the man who brings oblations. Grant to your sons a portion of that treasure, and present. Give them energy, ye fathers. Our ancient fathers, who deserve the Soma, who came most noble to our Soma banquet, with these let Yama yearning with the yearning, rejoicing, eat our offerings at his pleasure. Come to us, Agnet, with the gracious fathers who dwell in glowing light, the very Kavyas, who thirst amid the gods, who hasten hither. Oblation winners, theme of singers' praises. Come, Agnet, come with countless ancient fathers, dwellers in light, primeval god-adorers, eaters and drinkers of oblations, truthful who travel with the deities and Indra, fathers whom Agnes' flames have tested, Come ye nigh, ye kindly leaders, take each your proper place, eat sacrificial food presented on the grass, grant riches with the multitude of hero sons. Thou, Agne Jetavetus, when entreated, didst bear the offerings which thou madest fragrant, and give them to the fathers who did eat them with sephada. Eat, thou God, the gifts we bring thee. Thou, Jetavetus, knowest well the number of fathers who are here and who are absent, of fathers whom we know and whom we know not, except the sacrifice well prepared with portions. They who consumed by fire are not cremated, joy in their offering in the midst of heaven. Grant them, O sovereign Lord, the world of spirits, and their own body as thy pleasure wills it. And feel free to comment about any of these names or terms that we Svada, um, Jata, Kavyas, they're not just names, they mean something. Him 10, 16, okay, 14 verses. Now I know when I write stuff, I, I, I take way too long, according to some would think, uh, trying to figure out you know, the meanings of the words and stuff involved. Burn him, 
not up, nor quite consume him, Acne. Let not his body or his skin be scattered. O Jetapetus, when thou hast matured him, then send him on his way unto the fathers. When thou hast made him ready, Jetapetus, then do thou give him over to the fathers. When he attains unto the life that waits him, he shall become the deity's controller. The sun receive thine eye, the wind thy spirit. Go as thy merit is to earth or heaven. Go if it be thy lot. Unto the waters go. Make thine home in plants with all thy members. Thy portion is the goat. With heat consume him. Let thy fierce flame, thy glowing splendor, burn him. With thine auspicious forms, O Jephthavetus, bear this man to the region of the pious. Again, O Agne, to the fathers send him who offered in thee goes with our oblations. Wearing new life, let him increase his offspring, let him rejoin a body, Jephthavetus. What wound soever the dark bird hath inflicted, the emmet or the serpent or the jackal, may Agna who devoureth all things heal it, and Soma who hath passed into the Brahmins. Shield thee with flesh against the flames of Agna, and compass thee about with fat and marrow. So will the bold one, eager to attack thee, with fierce glow fail to girdle and consume thee. Forbear, O Agne, to upset this ladle. The gods and they who merit Soma love it. This ladle, this which serves the gods to drink from, in this the immortal deities rejoice them. I send afar flesh, eating Agne. Bearing off stains, may he depart to Yama's subjects. But let this other Jetapenas carry oblation to the gods, for he is skillful. I choose as god for father worship Agne, flesh eater who hath passed within your dwelling. While looking on this other Jetapetus, let him light flames in the supreme assembly with offerings meet. Let Agne bring the fathers who support the law. Let him announce oblations paid to fathers and to deities. Rightly glad would we set thee down. Rightly glad make thee burn and glow. Gladly bring yearning fathers nigh to cat the food a sacrifice. Cool Agne and again refresh the spot which thou hast scorched and burnt. Here let the water lily grow and tender grass and leafy herb O oh, full of coolness, thou cool plant, full of fresh moisture, freshening herb, come hither with the female frog, fill with delight this Agna here. Now, to eat the food would have made more sense, right? But, of course, um, it's not the flesh or the food, just like, you know, the person, the, the cremation, the idea that, well, it's not their flesh. It, it, I mean, physically we're seeing this, but this is what's going on spiritually. Of course, some people die during cremation because um, they weren't really dead, but um, hymn 10, 17, various deities, 14 verses. Tavashtar prepares the bridal of his daughter. All the world hears the tidings and assembles, but Yama's mother, spouse a great Vivasvat, vanished as she was carried to her dwelling. From mortal men, they hid the immortal lady, made one like her, and gave her to Vivasvat, Saranyu, brought to him the Asvin's brothers, and then deserted both twin pairs of children, guard of the world, whose cattle ne'er are injured. May Pushan bear thee hence, for he hath knowledge. May he consign thee to these fathers' keeping, and to the gracious gods let Agne give thee. May Ayu, giver of all life, protect thee, and bear thee forward on the distant pathway. Thither let Sevatar the god transport thee, where dwell the pious, who have passed before thee. Pushan knows all these realms. May he conduct us by ways that are most free from fear and danger. Giver of blessings, glowing all heroic, may he, the wise and watchful, go before us. Pushan was born to move on distant pathways on the road far from the earth and far from heaven. To both most wanted places of assembly he travels and returns with perfect knowledge. The pious call Sarasvati. They worship Sarasvati while sacrifice proceedeth. The pious called 
Sarasvati aforetime, Sarasvati, send bliss to him who giveth. Sarasvati, who camest with the fathers, with them rejoicing thee in our oblations, seated upon the sacred grass be joyful, and give us strengthening food that brings no sickness. Thou called on as Sarasvati by the fathers, who come right forward to our solemn service, give food and wealth to, to present sacrificers, a portion worth a thousand of refreshment. The mother floods shall make us bright and shining, cleansers of holy oil, with oil shall cleanse us. For goddesses, they bear off all defilement. I rise up from them purified and brightened. Through days of early estate, the drop descended on this place and on that which was before it. I offer up throughout the seven oblations the drop which, still to one same place, is moving. The drop that falls thy stock, which arms have shaken, which from the bosom of the press hath fallen, are from the Advarius purifying filter. I offer thee with heart and cry of, of shot. That fallen drop of thine, the stock which from the ladle fell away. This present god, Berhaspate, shall pour it forth to make thee rich. The plants of earth are rich in milk, and rich in milk is this my speech, and rich in milk, the essence of the waters, make me pure therewith. Now, just like in Africa with the Vodan and the filial piety to the extreme in China. Um, people develop this idea that the ancestors have somehow became deities and able to do things when they are dead that they were unable to do in life for, you know, for us. Um, now, continuing the memory of their and and their good legacy and stuff like this, that's that's an important thing to do. I definitely encourage that, but um, I mean, no disrespect to anyone, but him 1018 various deities 14 verses and and by all that i i mean you know that the vedas have you know there may only be 33 listed as what people worship but we really have a a broad grasp of theology going over this go hence o death Pursue thy special pathway apart from that which gods are wont to travel. To thee I say it, who hast eyes and hearest. Touch not our offspring, injure not our heroes. As ye have come effacing Mrtu's footstep, to further times prolonging your existence, may ye be rich in children and possessions. Cleansed, purified, and meat for sacrificing, and divided from the dead are these, the living. Now be our calling on the gods successful. We have gone forth for dancing and for laughter, to further times prolonging our existence. Here I erect this rampart for the living. Let none of these, none other, reach this limit. May they survive a hundred lengthened autumns, and may they bury death beneath this mountain. As the days follow days in close succession, as with the seasons duly come the seasons, as each successor fails not his foregoer, so forms the lives of these, a great ordainer. Live your full lives up. Find old age delightful, all of you striving one behind the other, make the Bashtar, maker of fair things, be gracious and lengthen out the days of your existence. Let these unwitted dames with noble husbands adorn themselves with fragrant balm and unguent, decked with fair jewels, tearless, free from sorrow. First, let the dames go up to where he lieth. Rise, come unto the world of life, O woman, come. He is lifeless, by whose side thou liest. Wifehood, with this thy husband was thy portion, who took thy hand and wooed thee as a lover. From this dead hand I take the bow, be carried, that it may be our power and might and glory. There art thou, there and here with noble heroes, may we overcome all hosts that fight against us. But take thee to the lap of earth, the mother of earth, far spreading, very kind and gracious, young dame, wool soft, Unto the girdom giver, may she preserve thee from destruction's bosom. Heave thyself earth, nor press thee downward heavily. Afford him easy access, gently tending him. Cover him as a mother wraps her skirt about her child, O earth. Now let the heaving earth be free from motion. Yea, let a thousand clods remain above him. 
be they to him a home distilling fatness. Here let them ever be his place of refuge. I stay the earth from thee, while over thee I place this piece of earth. May I be free from injury. Here let the fathers keep this pillar firm for thee. And there let Yama make thee an abiding place, even as an arrow's feathers. They have set me on a fitting day. The fit word have I caught and held, as twere a courser with the rain. And it's important to appreciate and take advantage of each stage of life. And those who have died, um, then, you know, the survivors actively take on the roles. You know, make sure that their tools and stuff go to good use. And people say there's like only one hymn for a funeral. I disagree. This, this is a hymn that you can use in a funeral. In 1019, waters are cows. Turn. Go not farther on your way. Visit us. O ye wealthy ones, Agnet and Soma, ye who bring riches again, secure us wealth. Make these return to us again, bring them beside us once again. May Indra give them back to us, and Agna drive them hitherward. Let them return to us again under this herdsman, let them feed. Do thou, O Agne, keep them here, and let the wealth we have remain. I call upon the herdsman him, who knoweth well their coming nigh, their parting and their home return, and watcheth their approach and rest. Let, uh, yea, let the herdsman too return, who marketh well their driving forth. Marketh their wandering away, their turning back and coming home. Home leader, lead them home to us. Indra, restore to us our kind. We will rejoice in them alive. I offer you on every side butter and milk and strengthening food. May all the holy deities pour down on us a flood of wealth. O thou home leader, lead them home, restore them, thou who bringest home. Four are the quarters of the earth. From these bring back to us our kind. And the cattle are so important because like well it's it's like you could say they evolved in order to be more copacetic to be around humans and part of that is that the humans would protect these critters right 